Hi, don't you just hate it when you spend several hours hunting down some little bug in your code? Aren't you sick of the poorly documented spaghetti code? Have you ever wondered whether there is some better way? Well, I have good news for you. It is possible to write bug-free code. It's just that it's much more difficult and time-consuming. Most programmers would probably rather write sloppy code and then spend hours debugging it rather than think for a few hours about the correct specification. But if you're not like those people, if you want to make high quality code, then oh boy, you came to the right place. I will show you exactly how to write bug-free code. The only problem is that, as you have already noticed, mathematically proved code isn't very popular and language designers didn't pay much attention to making mathematically verifiable languages. This means that there just aren't many existing languages for writing bug-free code. So we will have to write our own language. That's right. The end result of this series will be a language like this one. It will be purely imperative language. Everything here is a procedure. There are no functions. Procedures don't take any parameters and they don't return any values. Instead, everything relies purely on side effects and all variables are just mutable globals. Sounds like a nightmare? Well, it would be if we didn't have our special secret weapon. The language will be entirely based on horror logic. Everything here will be provable and every procedure will have explicit preconditions and postconditions. Programmer will always be forced to comply with this specification and all code will be mathematically proved. As a result, this language will have potential to be extremely fast and bug-free. I will guide you through all the necessary theory, I will explain horror logic, we will use alt ergo as our SMT solver so that we can automatically prove all of the necessary theorems. Additionally, I will also show you how existing languages could be extended to make them mathematically verifiable. For instance, I will show you OpenJML, which allows for mathematically proving Java code. Similarly, ACSL can be used to prove C code. Unfortunately, there aren't any tutorials like this on the internet, so I hope to fill this niche. See you soon in the first video in the series.